Paparazzi is here. Hello girls, nice to see you. Good morning. Camera in your face already? It's not too early, right? <laughs> Show you how to have a good time. I'm that hard to forget. Yeah, I'm one of a kind. Everybody trying to be somebody. Ain't nobody else like me. Everybody trying to be somebody. I just want to be like me. Be like me. What's up guys? Oh, today we are in Lekane. I'm here meeting Veronica Stone. First of all, how cool is that name? It's like some old fashioned movie star from the 50s or something. Very cool. The girls are in their training jumping, like legit jumping at 10 a.m. I don't know about you guys, but my knees and my back must be getting old. Just, just watching them, I'm feeling it. They're in their training and then they're about to do a little bit of musku, so let's just uh, to catch up with them. Alright guys, that's probably enough volleyball, right? You guys, you get the idea. There's there's a gym, a bunch of volleyballs, a couple coaches, some knee pads, the whole nine yards. You know what it looks like. Now is the good bit because we're gonna go check out where Veronica lives, how she relaxes, how she spends her downtime. You know, all the interesting bits about being a volleyball player. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this place is so cool! It's really nice. It's like a hotel. Yeah, and the lake? My gosh. But this is the place. <laughs> this is my living room, my flat screen in the corner. The girls talk about how long the season is and they're like, you want to come home to something that feels like home. I have like a bunch of pictures surrounding and then more lights and then more lights around <laughs> over here and up here. I'm getting, my family's like sending me a care package and so they're gonna put pictures in there so then I'll finish this picture mirror. <laughs> and then my parents got me a Norma Tech, which was really nice. Pretty much like every other day. Oh, Norma Tech. So this is the metal we just got. Yeah, I gotta do it on that. <laughs> and then, you know, just to have my snacks from home. I already finished like a bunch of my other candy. I have one bag of Sour Patch watermelon left. And then I have a bunch of sunflower seeds because I'm obsessed with sunflower seeds. I already had six bags. I've only been here for two weeks. <laughs> then the balcony. Yeah, the balcony is really nice. I like the view. Looking at all the houses up there. It's so pretty. And this is the bathroom. My bag was so heavy because I brought lotion and as if like France doesn't have soap and <laughs> shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, my bag was over. And then my fanny packs. I have this one from Peru when I played on the youth national team. And that's the one I usually take in the movie theaters, put all my snacks in there because I can't like bag check you and it's a fanny pack. <laughs> go decks forever. Never gonna let go. <laughs> I asked my teammates who've been overseas, I was like, what do you bring? Like, what's important? She's like, make sure you have socks. I brought like 20 pairs as organs on Nike. And my team's Adidas and we're not allowed to wear them. So whenever the band is over and my mom could come visit, I'm gonna send her a bag home of things that I thought I needed, but I don't. And your spices. And so I was like, okay, let me bring my seasoning salt. And there's all my top ramen. And my remaining sunflower seeds with a bag. These are my other shoes that I like. The duck exclusives. My dad was um, an NFL player. 
He played for 13 years and he's a big lineman. And I love like big clothes and so I got like three of his 3XL jackets with me and my friend was like, you don't need this. It doesn't get cold there. And I was like, I do need them. Because <laughs> I wear them all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is everyone's signatures on the team. I wanted everyone to sign it for my first year. If there's, if we have two practices, come home, make some lunch, probably like avocado toast and chicken or like an egg. And then I take my like two hour nap, wake up, <laughs> watch some TikToks, <laughs> get ready. And then, or if like it was a tough practice or lift on Norma Tech, I've been watching Dance Moms a lot. And then I love the NBA, but like, the time change is so hard. I set an alarm once for 3.30 a.m. so that I could watch the Laker game. <laughs> my ice cream, the only thing I have in my freezer. It's a new flavor from Ben & Jerry's. Come on, brownie Ooh. party. Usually I'm more of a half plate girl, which is brownie and cookie dough, but I wanted to try this one out. It's pretty good, but half baked is still my favorite. This is me trying McDonald's in France. Wow. <laughs> this is so amazing. I'm so progressive. <laughs> My TikToks are so dumb. <laughs> They're so dumb, but whatever works. <laughs> Au revoir. Bye. Bye. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that little sneak peek into where Ronnie lives and relaxes after trainings. She's gonna head off to the beach with a couple of the girls and you know what? I think I might do the same. Also, <laughs> also, don't forget to check back in for the podcast because we're going to be talking to all things TikTok, Norma Tech and recovery and vlogging, perhaps because it sounds like Ronica's going to get into the, into the vlogging game. <laughs> I'm excited to see that. Stay tuned. Come here, Swannies. I like I was a journalism major and like I've always wanted to be in sports and my big thing was always wanting to know like who are you outside of an athlete like yeah yes. you're a great you're a great athlete like everyone knows that like I can google your stats but like what do you like to do like what do you do do you like even if you don't do anything like what does nothing look like for you <laughs>